Here we have how the leading coefficient affects the shape of a parabola. And so we have all of these three and they want us to fill in the correct um, boxes here. So it says for each coefficient, choose whether it is positive or negative. So you'll have a drop down there and actually be able to select positive or negative. For me, I'm just gonna put a plus sign for positive and a minus sign for negative. So since these two are both opening up, then for these two coefficients, a and b, it should be positive. And since these two graphs are opening downward, then that means these two coefficients need to be negative. So those two would have to be negative. If choose the coefficient closest to zero, essentially what that means is it's the widest graph. Okay? And so of all four of these images, the widest one is B. So from the drop down arrow, I would be selecting B. It's not going to ask you all this, it's just going to ask tell you which one it is and you just pick B. Then it's going to say choose the coefficient with the greatest value. So you have to be careful here because yes it is the most narrow but it's the most positive narrow. So and I mention that because this one is the narrowest one of all the graphs but this is not the correct answer because it's a negative value which means it doesn't have the greatest value. A positive number would have a value greater than a negative number, right? So between the two positive graphs, you need to decide which one's more narrow. And between these two, A is the one that's more narrow. So it has to be the positive narrowest or the narrowest positive. So then it's gonna be A in this case. Then it says choose the coefficient with the least value, okay? So the least value, want the narrowest negative um, coefficient. So these two are the ones with negative coefficients. You want the one that looks the narrowest between these two, and that would be D. Then now for E, it says choose the coefficient furthest from zero, okay? So this means the narrowest regardless of whether it's positive or negative, okay? Regardless of whether it's positive or negative, it's just the narrowest. So between all of these, the most narrow graph is D. It is more narrow than part A, definitely more narrow than B and also more narrow than C. So for here would also be D. Okay. And that is, I believe, all we're doing. Oh, I have another version of what you might see. So that was great. We were looking at the graphs, right? Well, this same topic also will give you a variation where they don't give you the graphs, but they, they give you the equations. And then based on what those, e those coefficients are, you're supposed to decide what is going on, okay? So for each parabola, choose whether it opens upward or downward. So this one's going to open up because it's positive. This one's going to be down because it's negative, down because it's negative, and then up because it's positive, okay? It says choose the, gra the parabola with the widest graph. This is going to be the one with the least value without the signs, okay? So it's the smallest coefficient, but without the signs. So you're basically comparing the one-fourth, the four, the three, and the one-third. Which of these is the smallest? Now we know that one-fourth is 0 0.25, and we know that one-third is 0 0.33, so the least is actually one-fourth. So it doesn't matter whether the sign is positive or negative, the widest graph is going to have from the smallest coefficient, okay? Now, for C, it says choose the parabola with the narrowest graph. So now you're looking for the greatest um, coefficient, but without the sign. So looking at these three numbers without the signs, the greatest one is the 4. And so even though it's going down, 
um, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be the most narrow graph of all of them. So now you have an example of both cases, whether you're given the, equa the equations or whether you were given the graphs like in our first example.